We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. So I um I forgot to record an intro video again, so we're having a, a voiceover instead this time. So um, we're trying to find all the wires that are in coming through um, into the engine bay. They would have covered the blues, the blue flashy lights, the um the, all the, all the siren, um, and how it talks to the headlights. So first thing we've got to do is strip everything back off that we, we fixed last week. So and it's coming off. Um, there's just two screws here that, that cover the plastic uh, covers that hold on the lights. Um, and we're actually taking the window screen and the scuttle off because there's a lot of wires that, that are hanging up under there. Um, and the idea is just to trace and find everything. Um, hopefully we can take them out this week. If not, at least we know where they are. So, just a quick time lapse then of uh, just stripping it back down. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully we'll show you what the lights look like. And actually, um, what we found out is a lot of wires are coming in from behind the uh, passenger side headlock. So, uh, next stage is um, taking off the passenger side headlock, obviously. So, there's um, there's a screw that holds in these little plastic caps that have just been taken off now. And then there's two bolts um, at the bottom and one bolt at the top that hold it in place. It also kind of clips in at the top. Um, and then there's a um, there's a, a wiring loom that just uh, connects into the back. Actually, if anyone's got one of these vans and you need to change a bulb, it's much easier taking the headlight out um, than it is actually just trying to get out all the rubbish. So, handy, handy practice. So, here we find the wiry nest of evil. So, I know some of these are going to the front, some of these look empty. These I just have no idea what they do, so I can trace them back into the van, find out where they go. However, I look suspiciously like that all goes in on the back of the dash. So oh, this is gonna involve taking the dash off, isn't it? Joy. <coughs> So just trying to work out where the wires run in the engine bay at this point. So um, coming in from the uh, passenger side headlight, <coughs> I'm just trying to work out where they've routed them and what does it go to. Now luckily they had actually colour coded the wires which made it a bit easier. So for most of this there was a, a yellow and blue wire which is actually going to all the different blues in turn. So anywhere that had blues on the vehicle there was a, a, um, a blue and yellow wire. Now what they also had done is actually when they'd removed the lights <coughs> it looks like they just unscrewed the lights, pulled them out tight, cut it and then just poked the wires back in uh, just behind the bumper or wherever they found the wires so um, that both made it a bit easier and that the wires were cut and, and a right pain in the backside because you just had bits of loose wire dangling around everywhere. The only other thing that wasn't was the ones that uh, went into the back of the actual headlights and actually I've, I've left them in there for the minute. Um, if I decide to get clever, maybe I might put some sort of timer switch um, if I ever want some sort of uh, keep the lights on for 30 seconds once you get out of the van type of thing.
All right, please ignore the, uh, the noise of the cats fighting in the background. I can't split them up, so just tracing these wires. Um, traced them through to here. So they're going up, up here into the cab. So again, we've got to find out where they go. But it's all gone very tight. So um, what I found out is there's another wire that was coming down here that they're obviously finished with. So they, uh, they cut the end off and just shoved it above the radiator. So uh, I'm going to try and work out where I loosen that one off now. Yay. And it's been about 10 minutes since the last video. And I found another one. So, uh, yeah. Apparently there's a lot of lights on the front of this one. So these ones are prep ready to go. Just trying to pull it through, nothing happens. So uh, here's another one there. I'm trying to get this off, but the, um, the bolt's rusted on. So enjoy. Um, so that's all the wires pulled out that I can get out today. Um, again, I was going to leave the headlight ones in. So the next step is then just to refit the scuttle. So for, um, I didn't put it on that previous video. And I'll link that up to the top if anyone wants to see what we did to the scuttle originally. Okay, so um, the reason all this one wouldn't go on very well is as I pressed, the plastic things here was just deforming because it, that was deforming quicker than these could pin into the bodywork. That's why it hasn't been clipped on. What I've done is made some little wedges. I'm just temporarily sticking behind the plastic. And that's done as it's held in, and that's, that's pretty solid now. So, probably shouldn't be really particularly surprising, but it's, it's more of a design flaw with the plastic from Fiat. So, um, so onwards. Forgot to record, didn't I? So took a bit more persuading on this side, but again, feels nice and tight. Much tighter along here now than it was. Although I still think I'll put a bit of tape on short term. Um, I think once we painted it, we we'll cleaned it up and painted it. I'll um, put a bit of silicone across, but for the minute, um, just put a bit of tape on just to keep it dry. So um, just ignore the axe. It needed a bit of persuading. Right, do as well. So I hope that was useful, um, anyone got any comments on uh, voiceovers as opposed to titles on the screen please stick them in the comments box below and uh, yeah, ciao.